gonna do some riding today for the first time in a while the goal of the day is not to go testing and develop anything but uh, just to actually go enjoy riding and uh, yeah have a good day on the F1 so uh, that's kind of the goal for today um, I'm sure we're gonna learn a few things no matter what that's kind of what happens anyway but yeah you know we've been working really hard um, I feel really good about where the ski is at the moment and uh, we have a really good solid base to work from and uh, keep developing uh, into the 24 race season so um, yeah looking forward just to a day of just enjoying the ski gonna uh, spin some laps on the F1 and uh, have a good time so uh, yeah, a bit of a change of pace. Last day down here. A little nippy, a little cold. But uh, yeah, better than most places in winter. But yeah, got the F1. Going to uh, bang a couple laps on that. Oh, it's going to be a good time. So, yeah, this F1 seems really dialed in now. So, uh, yeah, unfortunately, it is smooth today, but um, I don't get to control the weather. So, uh, make the best of what we got. But, uh, yeah, you know, as far as the setup goes on the F1 compared to like the GP1R, the F1 is just much easier to ride. It's more stable, um, definitely just feels a, a lot easier in every way. More stable, uh, sweeps better, turns in harder, less effort. Uh, yeah, it's just a big step forward. So uh, here's a kind of look at the engine bay. Engine bay is massive on the ski. So uh, yeah, kind of gives you a little feel of the size but yeah you can get your hand all around everything you know obviously look at the distance between the the deck and the exhaust and then uh, the same for the intake manifold just massive space everywhere so uh, yeah good if you want to run uh, big throttle bodies and everything else yeah this will be the hole for you Stock setup, like that's good. Definitely is. Look, 
with the day and uh, yeah it was awesome F1 worked amazing yeah I'm so pumped with that boat so uh, yeah I've been working obviously really hard on it uh, just getting everything figured out getting the hang of it seeing what it's kind of likes as far as setup goes but yeah like we have such a solid platform now um, yeah we're in a good good spot with the with the new F1 so uh, yeah it was an awesome day uh, Corey Curtis did a couple laps with me, uh, had a couple other people come down to do some testing and uh, give some feedback and uh, it was a massively, massively positive day. So uh, yeah, can't wait uh, for more people to ride the ski and uh, development doesn't stop, especially with us. So uh, yeah, we'll keep uh, working to see where we can gain extra performance. but. Uh, I can, I'm can. i so confident in this new ski. It's easy to ride, it turns amazing, uh, has crazy grip, crazy stability, and uh, yeah, I mean, a lot of people that ride it, one of their first comments are that uh, you don't get that tired on it compared to the other boats. So uh, something that doesn't, uh, you know, obviously take all your energy is a good thing, especially with stand-up racing. Um, but yeah, it's all positive. So, uh, man, you know, I put a lot of work into this new boat, and uh, it was a it was a massive gamble with such a advanced, I think, concept. And we really pushed the boundaries with a lot of new innovation. But uh, the time had come for a big step forward, and uh, yeah, we definitely, definitely made that massive leap. So. Uh, yeah, excited for 24. We'll keep uh, keep testing, keep riding, and uh, we'll keep showing you guys some videos. So uh, see you guys on the next one.